teriyaki and pineapple spam burger. So first I'm going to start off by butter toasting my buns. Now while those are doing their thing, I've got just a can of pineapple slices and 100% pineapple juice. Uh, obviously if you wanted to deal with corn and slicing a regular pineapple, that'd be great. But we're just going to roll with this for an easy... Try not to cut my finger. Whoa! So now I'm just going to grab me two slices of pineapple. And I'm going to set them over here. Let them grill up. Didn't quite work. That's pineapple though. While this is going on, just pour a little This right here is just a basic teriyaki. I'm not going to put very much because obviously Spam is pretty salty itself. Rub it in, rub it in. Put just a smidge on this side. Oop, that's probably more than I wanted to. We'll share the oil here. Check our pineapple. Yeah. That's what I'm wanting. Push them over here. The side's nice and warm. It's a little face, kind of. But not really. There you have it. Let's go cut into it and try it out. All right, here we go. We have made it to the taste test table here. And this is just a, like I said, teriyaki pineapple spam burger on a toasted sourdough bun. So I was just using some ingredients I had on hand. We will cut into it, see how it goes. See. Oh. Silly me. I didn't cut it all the way through. <laughs> so nice and steaming still. See, we got a thick cut piece of spam, some grilled pineapple. Let's try it out. See what we think. This isn't going to be for everybody, but it's for me. Uh, I'm getting the the sweetness of the pineapple, but the savoriness of the teriyaki and spam. It's nice and warm throughout. The toasted bun is coming out great. Uh, texture's working for me. I think it fits. The flavors are going good together. So let's try another bite. I 
I really like it. I ain't kidding. Uh, something quick and easy, like if you want to make a little lunch or something like that, wouldn't take too long. And, uh, you know, I think it's a different take, something to switch it up every now and then. So, uh, appreciate you taking time to join me and watch the video. If you saw something that you liked or intrigued you, I hope you consider to like, comment, subscribe, share, and turn on post notifications so you know when new content is added to the channel. Until next time, this is Garrett the Griddler saying, let's keep cooking. A sincere apology to the wonderful Polynesians and you.